Hey coach, this is Coach D. Today I'm doing a little something different for Flag Football Friday. I was talking to a few coaches. Jeff Smith, one of the coaches in our Complete Coach Boot Camp, said, hey, why don't you give away a free lesson on the do's and don'ts. No matter who the coach is, they need to know about these do's and don'ts. So I'm giving that to you for free for Flag Football Friday. If you are interested in this, this is an exclusive boot camp for coaches. It's broken out by six sections, uh, sections here from the basics, practices and drills, offense, defense, game time, and leadership. Look, you know I love to produce great content for you. It's just me out on the field showing you everything I know. It also comes with the complete coach package, which gives you 200 plays, 32 age-based practices, 35 printable drill, drill packs, right? So everything you need to be the complete coach. If you are interested, not gonna try to sell you on it, but go to the flag football with coach D.com, click on coaching boot camp. You can see it's 50% off right now, but you'll see everything that you get. And once you check out, you will get your login details. It's exclusive, nobody else can get in, and it'll lead you right to this page. You can watch these anytime, anywhere, on mobile, it doesn't matter. So anyway, let's jump into our first session here uh, for free. It's do's and don'ts, part of our basics in the Complete Coach Bootcamp. Enjoy. Coach, as we wrap up our basic section, let's talk about some do's and don'ts. This is very important. Uh, you do not have to take this as seriously as I do. I get it. But there's also a respect factor and a community factor. I've had coaches not show up. I've had coaches just abandon their team because they just didn't have time. It's flag football. I remember when I first started coaching, I had a, uh, an assistant coach say, why, 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 are we, why are we meeting and having beers about this, man? This is it's just flag football. It doesn't matter. Dude, this is kids' lives. And you have no idea the impact you have, positive or negative, when it comes to this. So let's take it seriously. Here are some do's and don'ts. I like to be prepared. The best way to have confidence out there is to be prepared. So get organized, be prepared, know what you're gonna do every single practice. Now, with the complete coach package, I've given you the practice schedules per age group, so you can literally just walk out there. But make sure, if you have an assistant coach, they know what's going on. If you have a parent that you wanna be involved, have them in the loop, right? Make sure that that's part of it. Show up, just show up. I mean, even if you're not prepared, you just got back from a trip, whatever it is, it's the last day, please do not call in. You gotta show up, you gotta be there. Um, be early. I'm big on being early. Show up early so that you can set things up so that when they come, it's like, whoa, this guy cares. You know, you'll see other coaches kind of running around not really knowing what's going on and you're already set up. You've got a couple stations already set up. You have your agility ladder. You're ready to go. Make sure that's taken care of. Set expectations early. This is important. Not only with <clears throat> the parents, when you do your meet and greet, here's what's gonna happen. Expect to get some communication. I'm gonna send you this, I'm gonna do that. But also out on the field, there is a big, big, big deal. When kids are just messing around, playing with flags, running after each other, talking while you're talking, all that. If you don't stop that from day one, it gets a little bit out of control. So I make it very clear, and I don't have to be a jerk. I just have fun with it. All right, guys, here's the way it works. Number one, when I'm talking, you're listening. <clears throat> uh, when we are on the sideline, <clears throat> we're like this, and we are watching. We're not running around. We're watching our team, we're cheering everybody on, right? You're giving full effort every single time, whether you feel like it or not, doesn't matter, right? So set those expectations early on. 
Um, focus on life skills over football skills. Very important. Look, you may not get every you know, top player in the world on your team. It doesn't matter. This is all about life skills. It's about you know, building confidence, building leadership ability, teamwork, all of that, um, building a connection, getting people out here to get them healthy, like all of that, much more than did they get the right bread basket. Did they, you know, so you don't need to yell and, and, and go nuts on them. Um, I like to communicate weekly. So I'm not just like, okay, here's the schedule and I'll see you out there. No, before every game, let's say the game starts in two hours, I'm gonna send them a quick text to the text group. Hey, we're meeting here. Don't forget, you know, you're this, 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 and this, right? All the stuff you need, your flags, your water bottle, this. We're meeting on this side of the field. This is how, you know, all of that. Here's who we're playing, you know, light sh sh shirts, dark shirts, whatever. I communicate every single game day, every single practice. You know, it's not over communication, but it is, um, they want to know exactly what's happening. So bring some energy, bring some excitement, have fun with it. That's what it's all about, okay? On the don't side, please don't wing it. Don't come out here and just think like, okay, well, I could just, you know, uh, there's no, I mean, it's just flag football, so I'll just kind of run some drills and I've seen a video or two. No, don't wing it. Don't be late. Please don't be the last one out on the field. You come out there and everybody else is kind of warming up and they're wondering, oh, where you been? Don't be that, don't be that person, please. Um, don't focus only on winning. You know, sometimes you won't win and that's okay. It's talking about perseverance. What did we learn? What did we see that was great out there? You know, I, we'll talk about the word of the week and it's teaching them. Do they walk away a little bit higher, lifted a little bit higher than they did when they got there that day? It's not just about the winning. Um, play only your best players. Please don't play only your best players, right? You got that, oh man, we could easily win this game. Let me just put my best players in. No, keep with the rotation. You have an A and B rotation. If you have that kid who's struggling, you gotta play him. You can't just sit him on the bench. You can't, you can't do that. You have to be fair and let everybody play. Don't lose your temper. Man, I've seen, I've seen coaches thrown off the field. Right? Come on. I mean, don't, 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 <clears throat> don't lose your temper and don't badger kids, refs, or other coaches. Meaning, no, come on, man. What are you doing? Like any of that. Don't, no. Right? You're lifting them up. If there is an opportunity, if you need to talk serious to someone because they're messing around, they're not giving full effort, any of that, that is okay to have a, a straight conversation. But yelling, screaming at someone, absolutely not. You can't do it. And don't have poor communication. From the very beginning, I give you all the templates. Make sure you're sending that out, telling them what to expect. I call it an I know exactly mindset. Make sure that your coaches, that your players have an I know exactly mindset. And that starts from you being prepared from day one. So make sure you're doing the right things. And as always, check this out. Be an encourager, not only for others, but for yourself. And that wraps up our basics, and that is the do's and don'ts of the complete coach. We'll see you in the next video.